always a um, bit of a scrappy win, a bit of an ugly win, but a win's a win. Carl, start with you. How was it out in the middle? Yeah, obviously, like you say, it, was, uh, it was, probably wasn't the best the best game to, to, to watch or whatever, but to be, to be fair, at this point in time, it's about winning for us. And, and you know, there was a few things we need to work on, obviously, but um, there was also a few things in there that, that we did pretty well. And uh, like I say, it's all about winning. Greg, there was a, a fair contest around the set piece early in the first half that sent the sides in at eight all. What was the message at half time? I think for us, it was just about getting back to to where we know we can be. I think we we were a bit slow out of the the blocks with our set piece stuff. Um, you know, it was very heavily competed at the line out as well. So, you know, our game relies a lot on our set piece and get, providing that quality ball for these boys is really important to us. So. Yeah, it was, wasn't any rockets or anything like that. It was just about getting back to, to what we know we can produce. We haven't defeated Worcester at Welford Road in a couple of seasons. Was that talked about at all in the build-up or do you just completely put it away? Uh, I think it, it was mentioned, yeah. I just uh, you know, I f feel like we probably let ourselves down against Worcester the last few times we've played them. So it was important to us. But very quickly it gets back on to about us and, and our game and, and the message around what we're trying to achieve. So the opposition is kind of irrelevant really. but. You know, it certainly was mentioned early doors, yeah. You've had a couple of different tens inside you in back-to-back -back weeks. Johnny's come on early in both of his appearances. How much does it impact a side when you lose your starting fly half so early on? Yeah, it, obviously it does because um, <coughs> obviously the ten does a lot of um, a lot of pre the preparation for the week, and Noel's done a, done a good job for that, you know, this week. But Johnny, Johnny as well, he came on the last two weeks and he's done a good job, especially today and. Obviously, he was prepared for the game and he was ready for his chance, and I think he took it. A couple of moments in defence, Carl, you to, I guess, come out of the line and impose yourself. Is that something you have been tasked with doing, or is it just a natural part of what you want to be doing? No, it's not something I've been tasked with doing at all. It's uh, just something I feel like, you know, when you have your moments, you've got to pick your moments. And, and today, there's a couple of times I like to try and um, do the right thing defensively, and um, I managed to do that. but. I thought a lot of the lads did, did well today in terms of defence, you know, there's a few things we do need to tidy up, but, but um, I think a lot of lads put the, put the body on the line, which was good to see. Finally, obviously, 18,000 fans, another win at home, unbeaten in 2020. <laughs> Is that something you talk about? Is it? I know we talked about in the off-season about making Welford Road somewhere we, we want to be winning games again. Is that something that's being discussed? I think... Uh we're, we're you know realists and like Carl said earlier on it's for us it's about winning games now regardless of <clears throat> of how we do it you know obviously today was uh, again another purest game of rugby but I think you know obviously Welford Roads are home and in front of our fans we want to be putting the right performances together so yeah you know if we're unbeaten in 2020 then great but you know we're more focused with where we are in the league and how we're putting the performances together than, you know, that. it'd be criminal if I didn't ask about the break where you were nearly you had a free run to the line, really, didn't you? It's making yeah. a habit of that, isn't it? He? <laughs> <laughs> he just forgets the ball, don't he? That, that's, that's a problem. Yeah, You've got to carry it with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 been tough. it's been tough recently, I think. You know, like Carl talks about picking your moments, and <laughs> there's been, been a couple of those moments that just haven't quite gone my way recently, but it won't be long.